So let's talk and let's have an introductory lesson about the relationship between factors and multiples. And one of the reasons why we're going to have this lesson is because I want y'all to kind of think in about some of the ways that numbers can relate to each other based on the way that you can multiply them and the results of multiplying those numbers. So let's look at some and review some quick vocabulary. Well, the one thing that we know is that 9 and 4 are factors that's going to cre that's going to create a product of 36 and we know that 36 is a multiple of either 4 or 9 cuz it's a multiple of both because well why when we talk about something that y'all see us saw in third grade or something that y'all can use as a strategy here is that if you add 9 a multiple number of times 1 2 3 4 you end up with 36. And that's what we have, and that's what we talk about when we talk about multiples, is you doing something to a to the same number multiple times, and you end up with the result of doing something to a number multiple times. You end up with a multiple. So here, we can do the same thing. If we add four nine times, and nine times is multi I mean four, adding four nine times is multiple times. Well, the ending result is a multiple or thirty-six. So when we talk about those multiples, it's the end result after you finish doing something a number of times. So let's look at some examples. Well, we know that nine. Oops, let me put that back on my pen. We know that 9 is a factor of 81. And well, we know that if 9 is a factor of 81, then 81 must be a multiple of 9. Because if you add 9, 9 times you end up with 81. And that's going to be one of those multiples of 9. And 9 is just one of the di many different ways that you can multiply and end up with a product of 81. So now let's look at this. Well, what do we know about 3? Well, 3 combined with 9 is a factor of 27 and we know that well that 27 must be a multiple of 3 well same thing 4 is one of the factors of 56 and well we know that 56 then is a multiple of 4. And then lastly, I'm going to leave you with a couple of practice problems. Go back through and review the strategy that I was using. And that is the end of our video.